Okay, one last example on uh, the fourth page here is to determine the following for this graph. And uh, here it says the limit as x tends towards negative 3, and this means, again, the left-hand limit. So we're approaching negative 3 from the left side. So that's where negative 3 is right there. Actually, let's just write that in the graph. So there's where negative 3 is. And so we're approaching, from, remember this means from the left side. That means it's negative 3, but that means it's from the left. So we're approaching negative 3 from the left. So the y value is a little over 1 and a half, so about 1.5, maybe 1.3, 1.2. And notice that it's getting close to a value of 1. And so we would write that that limit is equal to 1. Now the, in B here it says for this function, What's the limit as x approaches negative 3 from the right side? Well, let's approach three, negative 3 from the right side. The, the y value is 0 there. It's about a half there, maybe about 0.7 or 8 there. Notice that it's, it's approaching the same dot. And so that limit is also 1 because from the right side we're also approaching 1. Now, because these two limits are both the same value, they're both 1, then we would say in C here the limit as x approaches negative 3 for this function is equal to 1. Now, the graph is also continuous there because if we put negative 3 in place of x, and this is what that was talking about in the second page, if we actually evaluate f of negative 3, we go 2 times negative 3 in the function, over negative 3 minus 3, you actually get negative 6 over negative 6, which equals 1. So because the function value is also equal to the right and left hand limits, then the graph is said to be continuous there. Now I'll give you an example before we end here of a place where the left and right hand limits are not the same. And so in this case I'm talking about where x is 3. x is 3 here. This is actually a vertical asymptote. Remember, that's what that dotted line means. So if we, were, if we were to evaluate the limit as x approaches 3 for this function from the negative side. So as we approach 3 from the negative side, I'm, I'm looking at dots like this. Notice that the y value is getting larger and larger and larger and larger. So it's not tending towards a specific number like the 1. It's actually tending to, it's going towards negative infinity, becoming exceedingly larger negative numbers. If we find the limit, the right-hand limit, as x approaches 3 from the right side for this function, then I'm looking here in the graph. Okay, so x is actually 4 there, the y value is 7. Uh, getting closer to 3, closer to 3. Notice the y values get larger and larger and larger. So this is actually tending towards positive infinity. So notice that the left-hand limit and right-hand limit are not the same. So we would write that the limit as x approaches 3 for this function does not exist. So there is no limit as x approaches 3 because from either side it's a different value. And actually, the function is undefined there because you also cannot substitute 3 in place of x because you'd be dividing by 0. So it's another reason why it's certainly discontinuous at 3. And that's the end of the lesson.